This is how you learn how to code in the fastest way possible. Now, before I go any further, understand that when I say fast, I'm not talking about three to six months. Like some people on YouTube are gonna say that you can learn how to code. That's just not realistic. That will make things a lot harder. But what I will say is that there are some things that you can do to make learning how to code go by a lot quicker and speed up the process for you to go out and land a job. Number one, know what you're doing, okay? You need to have a set path forward. You don't wanna go fly into code blind, blindly and not have any path or any idea of where you want to be do you what field interests you the most or what are you trying to do as a programmer are you someone who just wants to get a job quickly and change your lifestyle or are you someone who's passionate about a certain aspect of programming and that you want to dive into that first have an understanding of what you want to do with coding second understand that mentorship is key see this is what majority of this video is gonna be about. If you wanna learn how to code as quickly as possible, you need a mentor, you need someone who has been in your shoes, who understands all of the ups and downs of coding and who understands what you need in order to succeed as a developer. That's gonna be someone who can mentor you. That's gonna be someone who can hold your hand through the process. That way, when you're running to bugs that you don't know how to solve, when you run into problems, when you run to, to career obstacles about not knowing how to go out and land a job and things along those lines, you need all that type of mentorship. See, what a lot of people don't understand is that coding is not just about technical skill. Yes, you need to know how to write clean code. You need to be able to write code that can work well within a team, manageable, scalable, things along those lines. But that's just a piece of the puzzle when it comes to programming. Programming has a lot of other skills that you need to be able to acquire in order to go out and actually be a successful developer. That's gonna be communication skills, career skills, knowing how to work well within a team, knowing how to go out and land projects that you can put on your portfolio in order to showcase it to employers and stand out from the other crowd because there's are a lot of developers out there looking for jobs. This is what mentors are designed to do. This is what mentors are supposed to do. Mentorship is key if you wanna learn how to code fast. It can really drop your time from maybe four years down to like a year to year and a half. Now, like I said, those people that are saying, you know, well, that's still a long time. Yeah, that's true. That's because everybody who says that you can learn how to code in three to six months is feeding you bullshit. Boot camps are not gonna give you everything you need in order to learn how to code within three to six months. Now, maybe if boot camps were longer, like, like 12 months long, then yes, they would be able to give you everything, but they're not. They kind of flush you in and out as quickly as possible. And that doesn't give you everything you need to succeed in the industry. So mentorship is what you need to find. Now, what's the best way to find mentorship? At DevSelf Academy, we have an online curriculum. Our online curriculum is immersive, where you can go in, have mentors work with you one-on-one, -on -one, grading your projects at your time, where you don't have to get, you know, adjust your lifestyle that much. You can have really it adjust around you. And that's what DevSelf Academy is designed to do. Now, I will say, I don't know of a lot of any other online curriculums that function in this way. But I will say this, mentorship matters and all you need to be able to do is go out and find a mentor. If you can find a mentor that can help take you from where you are now to where you want to be, it's going to cut the time down in half. Is doing it by yourself, let's just face it, it can be extremely overwhelming and challenging, especially with all the obstacles you face already. You might not know what language you need to learn next. You might run into a bug that just is so overwhelming that you just stop. You might not even have a set curriculum that you're following that can kind of push you in the right direction. This is why having a mentor is so crucial and is so key. Now, another thing that you can do to make learning to code a lot faster is understanding how you're spending your time learning. How you spend your time learning is everything. If you're someone who's just watching tons of coding tutorials, you're not gonna get anywhere in programming. You're gonna fall into something what we call tutorial hell. But if you're someone who's actually building things, this is where your learning's gonna actually come from. We call it project-based learning, and it's basically this. You spend time finding a project, and you sit down and build that project, and you learn as you go. Programming is a hands-on field, which means you need to be slamming out code on your keyboard. So instead of just watching coding tutorials or going through coding courses, actually try and start building things. Like I said, going back to DevSelf Academy, this is why a lot of our projects are centered around building something from scratch with mentorship along the way because project-based learning is the key and cornerstone to learning how to become a developer if you're not actually slamming out code and writing code on the screen more than you are watching tutorials or watching videos or reading documentation you're never gonna learn now guys that's the end of this video these are just three things that you can do to make learning how to code go by a lot quicker I hope you guys like this video and understand that this is gonna be a journey not a quick 
process. So you're going to have to go through a lot of time and you need to have your eyes set on the next 12, 16, 24 months because that's how long it's going to take to become a developer. Now, granted, that's not as long as it would take maybe to become a nurse, you know, going to college for four years. So it's still a short amount of time, but let's not get greedy and let's understand that any skill comes with a price to pay. You're going to have to sacrifice. You're going to have to put in the time and effort. And if you're willing to do that, you're going to re reap the rewards at the end. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Jake the Programmer, peace.